So I'm going to read a poem today. Well, I mean, first, thanks for joining me for tea and poetry. I almost forgot that part. Um, today I'm drinking this really good tea. It has orange in it, which I really like, and um, it's kind of refreshing. Uh, so this poem, I like this. I picked this poem today because I love the title. It's The title is Poem with No Children in It. And the poet is Claire Wamenholm. Um, she's a contemporary poet and she lives in the Twin Cities. Instead, the poem is full of competent trees, sturdy and slow growing. The trees live on a wide, clean lawn full of adults. All night, the adults grow older without somersaulting or spinning. They grow old while thinking about themselves. They sleep well and stay out late, their nerves coiled neatly inside their grown bodies. They don't think about children because children were never there to begin with. The children were not killed or stolen. This is absence, not loss. There is a world of difference, the distance between habitable worlds. It is the space that is unbearable. The poem is relieved not to have to live in it. Instead, its heart ticks perfectly and fretfully among the trees. The children who are not in the poem do not cast shadows or spells to make themselves appear. When they don't walk through the poem, time does not bend around them. They are not black holes. There are already so many knots in this poem. It is already so negatively charged. The field around the poem is summoning children and shadows and singularities from a busy land full of breathing and mass. My non-children are pulling children away from their own warm worlds. They will arrive before I can stop them. When matter meets antimatter, it annihilates into something new light, sound, waves and waves of something like water. The poem's arms are so light, they are falling upward from the body. Why are you crying? What a fabulous, I just love. I, I mean, to me, there's this very thoughtful kind of poem and, you know, it, it, I think the poet seems to be talking about her experience of not having had children. And I think by the end, with the last line, it's, it's an earned line, but in a way it's, a bit of a surprise, but it also feels like it was inevitable of where she was heading with this. It's sweet. <sighs> okay, well, thanks for joining me. I'll be back with more tea and poetry in the meantime.